Ryder, I think y'all have only played something like two games in the last six weeks. Just what have this last month and a half been like for you with the start and stop and how difficult it's been to manage the whole schedule? It's been completely, you know, it's, this season is unparalleled to any other for sure. But, you know, we just have to, I just have to keep on reminding myself, reminding my teammates to stay locked in. You know, as, as long as it's still games to be played, we got to show up ready to go. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't lie to you. It's hard, especially after we was talking. Um, states for the past three years, it's been our last game at that time of the year too. And so now, you know, we played state, we won. You know, that was kind of like a bowl game. That's our egg bowl. And then we're off for two weeks. And then with the with the COVID and stuff, we're kind of just having to do work on our own. So it kind of feels like the off season, but. You know, now we're back in practice. Everything's starting to feel back to normal. We're back in our groove, and we're ready, ready to go for LSU. Go ahead, Neil. Hey, Ryder. Uh, kind of along those lines, what would a win at LSU mean for you personally? What would it mean for this season for you? And then, what do you think it would do for this program? It's it's huge. You know, I, I haven't beat LSU since I've been here. You know, I was hurt last year, but two years before that, I lost both both times. So. You know, just, just, just getting a win in my senior year, like, that would just be huge. And that's big for the program, too. You know, like, you've probably heard us all talking about we're trying to finish one of the hottest teams in the nation. So that's the next step for that. Go to Parrish. What do you think it would be like uh, playing there with the COVID <laughs> restrictions, Ryder? And, uh, you know, could that be an advantage for you guys? Um, I mean, it will probably be a little bit more quiet than it usually is, but – you know, me personally, I, regardless of whose fans it is, I, I love a packed house. So it, it, it'll, it'll be a little bit different, but, you know, we're going to show up to play regardless. Have you found visiting stadiums this year to be, I mean, obviously quiet, but can they still be a distraction? I mean, what's, what has the experience been like playing in those stadiums on the road? Um, well, I mean, just like me personally, when, whenever the, you know, I, I soak everything up before the game. And then once the game starts and, you know, you start, you know, you, I, I, I lock in. And so I, I don't really even notice. Even it could be a packed house. I don't even really hear, hear too much going on. But um, if, if, if anything, I say it's just kind of weird. You know, you have to get your mind, mind locked in on, on the game, especially at like Vanderbilt. It was nobody in the stands. It felt like a, kind of felt like a scrimmage before the game. But, yeah, it's a little different for sure. Did you watch that LSU Florida game last week as it was happening? Oh yeah, I watched it. Just, what is your reaction when you, as a football player, are watching those last two minutes and everything that's unfolding? Man, I I was just you know I was really just enjoying a, a great football game. It was uh, it it was it, it was cool to watch. You know, it was kind of uh, odd some of the events that took place. <laughs> bro, bro threw the cleat across the field. I felt. You know, you know, I don't really know. I don't know, I don't know what to tell dude about that, but you know, um it it was a great game, you know. I just I just kinda wanted to see how, how LSU was gonna fire off. They showed a lot of passion. You know, they they don't have a postseason, but I want to see how they're gonna come out and then uh after that just, you know, get to the film and you know, watch, watch all the technicalities of it. So I wanted to ask you about that. You obviously played on teams before that didn't have a postseason. <laughs> what do you think their motivation is like now when they know this is um, I mean, at first it was no telling, but you know, the, the they showed a lot of heart, you know, coming out versus uh number was Florida number six, coming up coming out against number six Florida, and you know they 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 played their tails off, and so, you know, I expect the same whenever whenever uh we go over there for them to come out with the same energy and stuff like that. So you know, for me, anytime and anytime I, I line up across from somebody, I want to win regardless of what the circumstance is. So I imagine the same for them.